Right. Got the countdown. I see it. Greetings, greetings, everyone. Uh, welcome to the fifth annual Urban Assembly Social Emotional Learning Symposium. Uh, we are so excited uh, to have you here. Uh, while people are coming in, um, as we're welcoming folks in, please drop into the chat uh, where you're checking in from. Let us know what uh, town, what state, what school, what community you are representing. So please drop into the chat uh, where, you're, where you're coming in from as people start to join as we kick off our symposium today. I really want to thank every teacher today. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, so I really want to take the opportunity to thank every single teacher who is here today, who is in a school building right now um, across the world, um, who is doing amazing work around social emotional learning, um, as well as just being an amazing teacher. So just really want to uh, thank you uh, for for that. Um, so I know in the in the chat we have people just sharing um, uh, where they're from um, and and whatnot. So that's absolutely amazing. I'm here with David Adams. I'm going to introduce him in a little bit. He is the CEO of the Urban Assembly uh, Leader Supreme. Uh, but I just now really, now that we've gotten here at 1201, I really want to uh, welcome again everyone to the fifth annual uh, Urban Assembly Social Emotional Learning Symposium. Our theme this year, not a moment, but a movement. Right? I want to say that again. Say it with me. Not a moment, but a movement. I know that uh, this time the pandemic has heightened uh, the, the awareness around social emotional learning. And in, in some places, and some people feel like it's a buzzword, it's something else, but it's actually what we've always been doing, but we want to make it more intentional and more explicit because we know when we focus on social emotional development of our young people, that raises academic achievement, but also just ultimately makes them amazing uh, human beings. My name is Brandon Frame. I'm the director of social emotional learning at the Urban Assembly and just really excited for today and everything that we're going to to go through i'm going to walk through a little of the agenda but before that i want to introduce uh david adams who is the ceo of the urban assembly um he is our our, our leader supreme uh here at the at the organization we really truly appreciate his leadership um and all that the urban assembly does so i'm going to turn it to david to share a few words uh before we go through the agenda for today and move forward with uh the next uh, parts of the day well thank you so much brennan i'm so excited to be here um, very excited to have the fifth annual social and emotional learning symposium. We call it the South Sim. And I'm seeing these people from across the country. Can you, do you mind if I take maybe two seconds to shout out some of the folks in the chat here, man? Absolutely. All right, man. So uh, I see New York City is definitely up in the house. We got all these people coming in from New York City. I see one of our principals here, Principal Viz, shout out from Global Commerce. Um, I see our friends from Chattanooga. You remember we went over to Chattanooga, Tennessee. We, went, we had that whiskey. Right? That was a good time. Uh, we got new visions in the house. All right, Shep coming in. How you doing, Alicia? We got Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, let's see, Chi Town. We got Gina representing. We got our folks from Urban Assembly. You see our folks representing. I see Alexis Goldberg up in there. Uh, we got Taylor Carter. Uh, I mean, all over the country, people are coming to here to our cell symposium because we know that social emotional learning is not a moment, but a what? Movement. And I, I, I didn't quite get that, Brandon. It's not a moment, but a what? Movement. Do you remember we went back into Houston, Texas, maybe five years ago, and we presented a definition of social emotional learning, and we said Elias 1997. People were shocked. They said 1997. This is how long social emotional learning has been around. Now we had an opportunity coming out of the pandemic to really realize the power of the social emotional dimensions of learning. Our children were isolated. Our learning was stunted, but we knew that if we invested in the social and emotional development of our young people, that we would build back better, that we would be stronger, that we would come back to society, to community in a ways that we had never seen before. And from my understanding, Brandon, as director of social and emotional learning, you are leading the way, not only here in New York City, but across the country to make that happen. Tell us a little bit about the work that is happening around social and emotional learning that the UA is supporting. Uh, we're, we're able, we are, have a lovely opportunity to work in states, uh, Connecticut, uh, New Jersey, Windsor Public School, East Orange, obviously here in New York City, done some work um, in Tennessee and Virginia um, and Texas. So really just working with people hyper-focused on the implementation. Uh, we know that um, that is the 
obstacle. And we want to turn stumbling blocks into stepping stones at the Urban Assembly with implementation being that. So we're fortunate to have a work with amazing people across the country on implementation of social emotional learning so that it can be done with fidelity, so that we can implement, evaluate, integrate, and build capacity of school districts to do this work. Now, I understand that we have an amazing showcase here today. We have schools from across the country who are going to show us what high quality implementation looks like. HQSEL. Did I get that right? HQSEL. Yes. Oh, that's that's really exciting. Uh, uh, this is the work, right? I, I understand we also have students here uh, who are going to explain from a student point of view, because, you know, uh, social emotional learning doesn't happen unless students talk about their own agency and how they're implementing these skills. Is, is that correct? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, that's one of my favorite parts of the day that we're going to get a chance to hear from students and they're going to be able to articulate how they have developed and how they use their social, social emotional learning skills to learn and improve their community. Man, and, and, and before I get to my last piece, one of my big boys, my, my big man here, uh, Craig Martin, just showed up in the chat reminding us this is not a moment, but a movement. So uh, big up to you, Craig. It's good to see the work that you're doing over in Boston. Uh, thank you for the work you're doing on our community. Uh, so this looks like we have an exciting day here, Brian. We're bringing folks from across the country to really think about the, the translation of the promise of social emotional learning to the impact of social emotional learning. So for folks who don't know, the Urban Assembly, we are a school support network of 23 uh, district schools here in New York City, where we achieve economic and social mobility on behalf of young people or support that um, in order to uh, ensure that those young people are living out their best lives. So uh, the work we do around social emotional learning, the work we do about leadership, the work we do around academics is really designed for economic and social mobility. And uh, Brennan, we used to we used to say uh, over the SEL side of the house um, that we innovate within public education, right? That this is the work that the Urban Assembly does. Um, so the work that you're seeing here around social emotional learning is work that the Urban Assembly has pioneered and supported so that schools can do. Um, we're very excited to showcase that work here today under the leadership of Brandon Frame. So uh, all things being equal, Brandon, uh, we're really excited to see the work and I'm really excited to see you leading it. So I'm going to turn this back over to you uh, and you can let us know what the day is going to look like, how folks can navigate through the day. And one more time, uh, it's not a moment, but a. But a movement, but a movement on behalf of the Urban Assembly. I look forward to making that movement happen today. Thank you. Thank you so much, David, for, for sharing uh, some remarks and, and highlighting some of the work that the Urban Assembly does. I'm just going to take time to just run us through the day. Uh, we're going to start off. Um, we're here with our opening remarks. Um, next, we're going to hear from students, uh, students from across New York City. Um, and they're going to share a little bit about how they have learned uh, social emotional learning skills and how they use them um, in their school and in their community. So it's, tr it's truly excited for that. <clears throat> That's going to bring us into our first fireside chat, uh, where we're going to have an opportunity to hear from Jamil Zaki, uh, the director of the Neuroscience Center um, at Stanford University, and, and some of the books that he has written and the work that he's doing in this space. Uh, it's going to be a really powerful conversation. Um, that's going to bring us into our panels. Uh, so we have some outstanding panels today. We have SEL and academics. Um, we have great people uh, from different parts of the country doing that work, and they're going to talk about that. Of SEL in the workforce, right? One reason why we want to build social emotional learning skills in our young people now is so they can be gainfully employed later um, and they'll be able to uh, navigate the complex work environment that we currently live in. Um, and we know that employers are asking for social emotional skills at the top of mind. And so it's important for us to think about that. So we're going to hear from those employers um, and learn what they're looking for and why social emotional learning skills. Um, are important. And we have some very other um, amazing panels uh, that we're going to have. We have superintendents uh, representing uh, Westbury uh, Public Schools uh, in, in Long Island, um, East Orange uh, Public Schools. So really excited to have superintendents because with this work and we want to push uh, social emotional learning forward, it's got to be from the top, top down. We need that. And so here how superintendents are prioritizing and sustaining uh, social emotional learning. And then we know that tech is a thing. Um, and that people are creating really amazing tools using technology to help students develop social emotional learning skills. We're going to have opportunity to see that um, in action for people who are doing that. Uh, we're going to have from there, it's going to bring us into our showcases uh, today. We have some amazing showcases. Uh, we're going to highlight Strong Resilient New York City, the largest social emotional learning initiative uh, in the United States of America, and what New York City public schools as a whole is doing to prioritize social emotional learning. That's going to bring us, uh, during that same time, we're going to hear from Windsor Public Schools in Connecticut, which is part of the second largest social emotional learning initiative in the country, and hear how Windsor Public Schools is connecting the dots around social emotional learning. Uh, we're going to have an opportunity to hear from 
a school that is uh, fo solely focused on uh, special education and special education students and what we can learn from them that can be applied to all students. And we're also gonna hear from the Urban Assembly School for Emergency Management um, and that opportunity. And that's gonna bring us into our final uh, uh, person of the day, which is Dr. Aaliyah Samuels, the president and CEO of CASEL. Um, and she's gonna ground us in our work to move us forward. Uh, we wanna thank the Carnegie Corporation for providing support for today. Um, and this is about to close. So I would like for everyone to get ready uh, to, to join the centering, take the mic centering student voice. Thank you. <laughs>